everybody, Robin here, and I'm coming to you with a subscription box. This is actually a new subscription box, so <clears throat> you may or may not remember that I used to do fortune cookie box, fortune cookie soap box unboxings, and I decided that I wanted to cancel that subscription because honestly, like, while this stuff smelled really good, and I just, I... I can't, I don't use it all. I'm not, I'm not a Bath and Body Works type of girl other than for like the occasional candle. I don't use all the lotions and potions and body washes and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I did want to keep a quarterly subscription and I can't remember who I saw opening this, but this is the, um, the Beautycon BFF box. So this is what the outside of the box looks like. It's really cute. Um, they put all kinds of, you know, decorations on the outside of it. And um, I want to say, I bought the whole year. I, I think it was like a hundred bucks for the whole year. So $25 a quarter. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit more than the fortune cookie soap box, but I feel like if it's a beauty box, I'll probably use everything in it. So let's go ahead and crack this open. This is what the inside looks like. Oh, hey, BFF. <laughs> and, um, oh, stuff started spilling out of it. Let's see here. There's a little thing that says tips for the perfect unboxing. Gives you a list of what's in there. They also give you this little, like, Instagram type picture and this is what the inside of the box looks like so it's got this really pretty iridescent mylar paper with the sticker on it so I'm cracking this bad boy open and holy crap um yeah this is what's inside here so let's dive right in and I will keep this just so I don't think it has prices on it but at least tells you what everything is so the first thing I don't really need any definition for and this is an elf small stipple brush and this is part of the I think I want to say this is the three dollar line so um yeah these are the professional ones the elf studio I like the elf studio brushes I don't have an elf stipple brush the one that I have is actually a Mac, but um, they look pretty damn close. The Elf one's just a tiny bit shorter, so I can always use more brushes, so very happy about that. Next is this Maybelline Baby Lips <sighs> Moisturizing Lip Gloss, and I got the color... Mm, I don't know what color. Does it say what color these are? Mm. Oh, excuse me. Moisturizing lip glass. Glass. Oh, sorry. My voice is like crazy. I do not see a color name on here. Hmm. It's kind of weird, but it's a nice nude color. And it pretty much has no color it's got a very light citrusy type of scent so I'm glad it doesn't have a whole lot of color it's just basically like a wash of stickiness but it doesn't feel super tacky okay so there is that there is a deluxe sample size of a benefit their real mascara that'll go in my sample drawer this I am super excited for. Color Pop. Um, now I own a butt ton of Color Pop, as you know, you might see back here, and that I've talked about in different videos. But I do not have every color of the lippy sticks. So let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a lippy pencil. I actually don't own any of the lippy pencils, so this is cool. Um, and this is in the color. LBB, so I'm guessing this is going to be the matching lipstick. I don't know if you heard what, what just went down in my throat, but it was really weird. 
yep this this is definitely a lippy stick in here and it is also obb so yay these are fantastic they have a matching or it's not always matching but it is a corresponding lip pencil to go with every lipstick that they have so i will swatch this Ooh, that's pretty so it's a nice berry shade which is perfect for this time of year i'm surprised i don't have this yet but you might notice that the pencil is a tiny bit darker than the lipstick oh my gosh yay so this is 10 bucks right here out of the 20 some dollars that the box is so that is yay that is very cool okay and next is this pop beauty kajal pen looks like a brown eyeliner no excuse me it is inky purple i'm not going to open this because i actually have a purple eyeliner open but this is exciting because i do like me some purple eyeliner so that is very nice Ooh, altoids i freaking love altoids so um i will open one because i have pizza breath right now and the inside of my mouth is actually kind of dry so oh there's a nice little supply of them in here so there's a decent amount in there i love these mm. you can never go wrong with having fresh breath so that's a win for me let's see skin fix hand repair cream i think i've gotten this in like sample source or something before but i really like it it's a very intense hand cream it's designed to help heal cracked skin it's sealed which is very nice um it does not say <clears throat> yeah all it says is that dry fall skin by felicia so that's pretty cute but i do i do like a nice hand cream and winter time it, yeah it, it's it's making its appearance and rearing its ugly head right now um this i'm guessing is a ring of some kind beautycon stacked ring set because one ring is never enough and i can guarantee them to you these are going to be way too small for my big fat hand but i appreciate the sentiment and i could probably wear it on my pinky finger but you know what Honestly, I would rather have rings like this that could fit on a different finger other than like a ring finger than when they do those fixed size bracelets like a bangle because bangles only work if you're, you know, you're skinny. So I can't, I can actually wear this on my pinky. So that's pretty cool. What, I mean, I'd probably split them because I just dropped one on the floor, but these are cool. I like them and you know, I can wear them like part way down on different hands. So that's cool. I And I like rings. I wear rings a lot. So that is very, very nice. Let's see. I got a Con Air Color Grips Tourmaline Ionic Detangle and Style Brush. And this is a smaller one. So I'm very happy to have this. You know why? Because I need a brush in my purse. I have a comb. But you know what? Sometimes I just need a freaking brush because my hair gets tangly and combs are good sometimes but sometimes brushes will be better so it says it has the flexible cushion base which i like these type of brushes and it has the little ball tips so um it's not supposed to snag your hair so let's see here Ooh, i like i like it a lot my hair gets really really tangly especially down on the ends throughout the day because it tends to wrap around on itself so having a nice compact brush is a, a big plus for me let's see another brush so this is a real techniques fine liner brush and you know what i almost bought this the other day so i'm freaking glad that i didn't be <laughs> um i have some fine liner brushes i'm not going to open this right now because it'll take too long but um the ones that i have are bare minerals which i really like them but this one, the bristles are a little bit longer than my Bare Minerals one. So 
very happy to have that. Um, next is a necklace. Uh, you know what? These things, uh, I never buy these big statement necklaces. I don't know why, because I, a lot of times I think they're really, really pretty. But I just, I never buy them. So let's see here. This is a very short one. And again, this is, but it does have an extender on it. But, um, you know, that's actually really pretty. And I would probably wear something like this. So that, I dig that. And it's different. And I think if I wore this to work, people would be like, what the hell? You normally only wear David Light stuff. And I'm like, I'm branching out. So I, I do like this. I think it's very, very different. It's very Art Deco-y looking to me. So I think that's why I'm drawn to it. Between the design itself and then having kind of the frosted um, gemstone type things. You know, I know they're probably just all paste. But I this is just very art deco 20s to 40s type style which i i love that style of jewelry Let's see next here's we have a set of earbuds so um some beauty con headphones these are always nice to have around um i keep a set at work um i like to carry a set in my bag just in case, you know, I want to listen to music or something on my phone and not bother other people. So those are nice to have a spare of those. Um, looks like I got a scarf. <laughs> the Beautycon, what does it say on here? No. No. There's so many different Beautycon things in here. Boho scarf. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, it has a snag in it. That's, well, I don't really care about the snag. Ooh, this is pretty. This is very, very pretty. Oh my gosh, this is very, very big. So I'm a ghost. Um, <laughs> no, this is really pretty. And I, yeah, I, I love the colors in this. These are all colors that I wear and I, I really dig this so yay I'm happy about this one and it's a nice long scarf so for someone like me who you know is not petite in stature well I'm petite in height just not in any other way <laughs> but it's nice that I have something that's long enough that I can you know zhuzh it around my neck so I like that a lot a lot a lot okay and then this really ugly bag this is ugly I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's just a plasticky um type of makeup pouch but you know what this would be great to store brushes in when you're traveling so i'm not gonna complain about that um no idea what the heck this is just oh <laughs> It's a $5 coupon for your bestie with a unicorn on it. So <laughs> that's really cute. So it's, um, the code um, is bestie five. So B E S T I E five. You can do this month to month. You don't have to per or I mean, I guess it's quarter to quarter. You don't have to purchase the whole year. Like I did. I just wanted to get it out of the way. And then Last but not least, it says Beauty Fades Pizza is Forever. Um, so this jackvanek.com, um, you can get 20% off your order, $20 or more. I don't know what Jack Van Eck is. There's his name down at the bottom. But I had pizza for dinner tonight. So it's kind of fitting. So that's everything in the box just to kind of rewind. There's this bumper sticker. There's a $5 off coupon. There is a beauty pouch. This scarf. Real Techniques brush. An e.l.f. brush. Skin Fix hand cream. Baby lips. Lip glass. There's some rings. 
There's this big statement necklace here. Um, <laughs> color pop lippy stick and lippy pencil in the color BFF, which is right there. Their real mascara. Um, oh, the hairbrush. This hairbrush, these Altoids, and this eyeliner. And it's like, uh, I think if you do month to month, it's right around, or I mean quarter to quarter, it's $30. So this is less than the Pop Sugar Box, but um, this was actually about the price that the Pop Sugar Boxes were when I started. And I like this better than I, oh, the headphones too. Forgot the headphones. I like this better than I, than I like the Pop Sugar Boxes. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to do it. I'll leave the links down below and thank you all for watching. Bye.